I think it's time we blow this scene. Get everybody in the stuff together. Okay, three, two, one, let's jam. On today's episode of One Minute Action, directed to the Rising of Shield Hero, episode 8, Curse Shield. <laughs> Holy shit. Did you guys just see that? Oh, this episode is fucking ridiculous. Okay, I called it last episode. Ren, the sword hero, it's all his fault. He left the dragon carcass out in the sun to roast, and is 100% at fault for causing this huge epidemic, plague, whatever the fuck's going on in this area. Now it's up to Nafumi to save the day. And it seems the rumor about him being the savior of the heavenly fowl or whatever has actually spread to this town too. I think it's funny though. I think it's very, very funny that everyone is putting labels on him. Rapist, savior, shield hero, like everyone is putting their own title on this motherfucker and he's just like, I never said any of this shit. It must be pretty fucking frustrating to be automatically labeled no matter wherever you go. Anyways, he decides to go up to the dragon corpse. I don't know if he's going to bury it or do, I don't know what he was going to do. He has pickaxes and shovels and shit. But what happens next? Yeah, the fucker comes to life. Now we have a fucking dragon zombie and the upcoming sequence is probably the most badass we've seen so far. Philo being young, brash, very impulsive, so decides to go after this dragon herself and in midair gets fucking eaten. Yes, this causes Nafumi to fucking lose it. We see another internal struggle in him. Fuck this world. It's about to take everything from me again. I don't know what the fuck's going on. And then I don't know if it's a certain power within the shield or the shield itself or some other thing that starts talking to him. Do you hate everything? Do you want power? And it unlocks curse shield fucking rage mode. The, the best way I can describe it is fucking rage mode. He goes full on berserker and I find it fucking ironic at the very beginning of the series. The other heroes said the shield was nothing but noob and for weak players. Look at this motherfucker here taking down a goddamn dragon zombie with a fucking flaming shield. Luckily though, Raph Talia is able to, you know, calm his fucking inner flame, leaves cursed shield mode. Unfortunately, he's done some damage to her and I felt so fucking bad. I was like, here is the, here is this one young lady who literally takes up arms for you every fucking battle and you just roasted her. Oh my God, I don't know. He just makes me feel like a big pile of fucking shit at this point. But all's well, it ends well. Philo is fucking alive. Yes, she was in the stomach. I kind of saw that coming. They're not going to kill off this lolly that soon. Now, after a brief interaction with them at the uh, the local clinic, Raftali is getting her wounds treated. Philo gives Nafumi a little crystal that, you know, she didn't eat. And both of them asking to, you know, hey, Nafumi, come sleep with us tonight. I love that he got back his resolve. Hey, we're stronger than we were yesterday and we'll be stronger tomorrow. All three of us need to work together. I fucking love that. I mean, he's not super down in the dumps, but I'm, I'm thinking in the back of his head, he's got to be wondering what the fuck's going on. Whew, this episode was fucking ridiculous. Like I said, it probably had the best animation sequence in the series so far. That curse shield mode. I'm so fucking intrigued. What the fuck is going on? Oh, and with that being said, I cannot wait for future episodes. Yeah. <laughs>